Today is May 2nd. Welcome back to the Stocks to Trade Midday Watch List Update. In these videos, we go over kind of some of the most volatile stocks that were located on Stocks to Trade each day. So, I'm going to start out with ULTR, um, some sort of petroleum based uh, oil and gas play. Now, rocketed out of the gate um, based on some sort of News on renegotiations with lenders now shot up big this morning and it is in the process of fading back, though it is still up 75% on the day. Um, do your due diligence. Uh, this would have been a strong buy early, but from the looks of it and what the, when you start following the news and digging a little deeper, this may be old news. So this may, uh, you know, may not have much staying power. Uh, GLBS and PRGN were the big rocket uh, shipping, dry ship, bulk shippers from last week. These were great buys late last week, and then solid shorts today. This is a, you know, something that you look for in volatile day trading of stocks. You look for a big move up for potential and, and volume. For potential buys and, and on Thursday and Friday, this uh, especially PRGN, I think it was up close to a thousand percent at one point. But then typically in these these type of, of fast movers, that is not sustainable. So they can become as, as great as they are on the buy side early. They can become great shorts on the back side. So uh, keep an eye on PRGN is definitely still volatile. PTX, whoops, is uh, another biotech that ran this morning, um, but it was a, it, the the news was that uh, a big hedge fund invested 0.72, I believe it was. So you can see early this really shot up, and then again, as is often with these, if you're early, if you get the news early enough, which this came out uh, last week. So, you know, there, there's a chance to get in early this morning as it before a long, but then again, much like those shippers last week, these can quickly reverse and you need to, you need to trade these with, uh, with great risk management and be quick. And then they can also become solid short sales. Um, last one is SRPT. This is a day trader's dream here, a big range they had some sort of, you know, again, do your due diligence, but they had some sort of uh, uh, fail uh, back here last week, went from the 20s down to, you know, at one point 10 or $11, but it is kind of grinding back. Now, uh, you know, a lot of coverage on this. It's being covered on CNBC, you know, all over Twitter. This is kind of the active stock of the day. If you've got solid risk management, you can trade these long and short. Um, so, yeah, those are the most volatile of the day, and we'll see you tomorrow.